Next, we're going to look at a problem dealing with unit pricing. The cost of renting a boat from Estes Rental is $9 per 15 minutes. The cost from Ship and Shore Rental is $20 per half hour. If you plan to rent the boat for three hours, which business offers the better deal and by how much? Well, let's start with Estes Rental. In order to determine which is the better deal, we really need to look at it in the same unit. We know that Estes Rental is $9 for every 15 minutes. Since we're interested in renting the boat in terms of hours, it would be prudent here to figure out what the cost per hour would be. Well, what we want to do then is multiply by 4 in order to get the number of hours, sorry, to get 1 hour, because 15 minutes times 4 would give us 1 hour. But if we multiply the denominator times 4, we also have to multiply the numerator by 4. Now, you may be able to figure this out without looking at the calculation, but in order to understand the calculation, notice that what you're doing is you're multiplying times 1, and therefore you're ending up with an equivalence. Here we end up with, then, $36 for one hour. Well, next let's look at Ship and Shore. Their value that is given to us is $20, and that's going to be for one half hour. In order to figure out what that is in terms of one hour, we're going to multiply times two over two. Again, multiplying by one, but doing so in order to end up with a value of one hour in the denominator. Twenty dollars times two is going to give us forty dollars. Now, so therefore you can see by unit pricing that the better deal is going to be with Estes rental. But there's another part to the problem, and that is we want to rent the boat for three hours. We know that Estes is going to be the better deal. We want to figure out by how much. Here we have the unit pricing per hour. We could simply take these values and multiply each times 3 over 3. Again, multiplying by 1 to give us an equivalence. $36 times 3 would be $108, and that's going to be for our 3 hours. And then if we multiply by 3, in our second case, we get 120 for three hours, and now we take the difference. $120 minus $108 gives us a difference of $12. By the way, this should make sense. We notice that it's $4 per hour difference. We multiply by three to give us the $12 per hour difference.